Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome in. My name's Amanda and this is the Connected Conduit where I just tippy tap in and bring through messages for you. This is going to be a timeless Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading for you. And I'm just going to call upon the energy of Metatron to join us. Okay, so let's all open our hearts and our minds to the Divine Truth love, clarity, guidance, and wisdom that he wants to bring through today for us. Okay. Okay, so he wants to talk about a toxic cycle that you may be finding yourselves in right now. And the reason why it's toxic is because it's depleting you. It's draining you. And therefore, it's becoming toxic because it's not healthy for you. Okay? Okay. You're finding yourself in a repetitive cycle with your counterpart and distance is required. Distance is required both physically, emotionally, mentally, even not, not so much spiritually, but just the physical distance, the emotional distance perhaps, like not pouring in and feeding into this right now. Um, there, there's a better way, he's saying. There's a better way, there's a better place to put your focus and your energies because pouring them into your counterpart right now, it's not benefiting you, it's not benefiting your counterpart, and it's not benefiting the connection because what it's doing is it's keeping you in a loop, in a repetitive loop. So he's saying it will be hard. Um, you know, it is difficult to detach and... and create distance between yourself and your counterpart but it really truly is necessary at this time it'll be difficult at first but once you start delving into self-love self-discovery and pursue other passions and interests and hobbies you'll find it quite manageable to get into the rhythm of your life okay there's it requires a shift within you okay because again, he just keeps saying like this cycle is exhausting you. I'm hearing here we go again. Here we go again. Okay. It's hard to be away from your counterpart physically, but remember that you're truly never in separation, that you guys share a sacred bond that can never be broken you have that that spiritual bond you do have that cord that attaches from your heart to your counterpart's heart so never forget that okay i think i'm going to pull from the sword of light oracle deck just to see what other messages wish to come through. Metatron would like everyone to regain their focus on their mission, right? Like what it is we're here to do for ourselves and for humanity and focusing on that. Make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation. Accept divine guidance pointing you toward your own joy. You deserve it. Yes, so this is what he's talking about. He He's saying that instead of choosing to prioritize your counterpart, prioritize yourself and, and your needs and your wants and your desires, your goals, your dreams, your creative projects. Okay, like put the focus back on you and what's going to make you the happiest. And I feel that if you're resonating with this right now, pouring time and energy into this connection with your counterpart, it's not making you happy. It's making you feel sad. Um, maybe a little bit left out in the cold. You know, and again, these are if if we are feeling this way, he's reminding us that there's always lessons, right? We're we're here to learn from our counterpart. So when difficult emotions come up, 
we have to look at why they're coming up for us in particular. And it's going to be different for everyone and like everyone since this is general, but because he's saying that there are lessons that are, are, are here for you to learn right now, but you're not learning them. You're not learning them. And that's why the cycle is repeating. Okay. You deserve, you deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve a new beginning. Okay. So for example, what he's saying is if you have a counterpart who's in another connection right now and you're yearning for love, he's saying, seek it. Okay. Like you can have that. You can have that. Just not with your counterpart right now since they're with someone else, right? So opening up your heart to other suitors, to other love interests, and allowing people to fill, fill your cup, right? Like, yes, you can fill your own cup, but having great people in our lives is, is uplifting. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Other people, like great healed wonderful people are a blessing to have in our lives. So welcome them in, new friends, new relationships, new connections, going on dates, smiling, laughing, flirting, falling in love, you know, the things that you're yearning for, okay? Physical contact, right? Many of you have been practicing celibacy and you've been celibate for a long time. And like when was the last time you had a good hug <laughs> amongst other things <laughs> um and that is just like a basic human need like humans need touch right we need that so to not deny yourself that if you are wanting it okay if you don't want it fine but if you feel like it's it's a need of yours and you want to open up to that then do it and don't feel guilty about it don't feel bad Okay, because you deserve it. You really, truly do. Allow yourself to open that heart. Okay. Um, last night I had a dream. And in the dream, I heard the divine speak to me. <laughs> they said, open your heart to source. And I woke up and I was like, well, my heart's already open to source. And I was like, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. <laughs> hmm. So I sat down in meditation and I imagined my heart space opening up and I just set the intention. I open my heart space fully to source. And I said it three times and I allowed like pure white light and golden light to fill my heart. And I broke down into tears and I was like, what is this? <laughs> what is this you know it surprised me i had no idea that was still in there that was a shocker okay so there's always more healing there's always more like awakenings epiphanies ascension moments we can have along the journey along our journey our self-development in our journey and we have to remember to take the time to pour into that because again what we do for ourselves, we do for our counterpart right so if if you have a blocked heart chakra, chances are your counterpart's going to have it too. So the more you can shift and ascend and unblock what needs to be unblocked and heal, the better for yourself and your counterpart and everyone else on the planet, right? It's for the greatest and highest good. That's why these twin flame unions are here, right? It's to promote the deepest level of healing possible because when we, when we are healed at the deepest level possible, <laughs> We are at a super high frequency and high vibration. And then we go around um, helping other people to achieve that high state of vibration, that high frequency, right? Which is love. So if we have guilt, shame, um, pain, heartache still within our body or our energetic centers, we're going to be holding on to that lower vibration and we're not able to be the best versions of ourselves. So the more we can let go and shed that lower shit, the higher we can become, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know. You might resonate with that. You guys, you might want to try it. Try it yourselves. 
you know, because I was shocked. I was shocked. I was like, I didn't know I needed that healing. I had no, no clue. I thought I was wide open. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Still had some healing to do there. Okay. So it's good to just check in with self and, and, and be like, okay, okay. What do we need to do here? So I think we're all being guided to check in, do some more inner work here. Okay. Peel back those layers and we're never fully healed, healed, but we can always try to get there. <laughs> we can always try to be, to strive to be an ascended master. Aha! What do we got here? What do we got? Trust the guidance you're receiving. Yeah. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. So we're all being encouraged right now to really tap in and trust our intuition and the divine when it comes to these twin flame um, connections, okay? And making sure we are paying attention to what our gut is telling us to do in these cases, you guys. It's so imperative because it's going to help shift things, move things along. The longer we take to learn the lesson and listen to our <laughs> intuition, it, it's almost like the longer it's drawn out and the more repetitive the, the cycles are and the more we can feel frustrated and stuck and irritated. And so all we can do is just say, you know what? The only thing I can control in this situation is me and my mindset and my actions and totally take them off of your counterpart and, and just throw yourself into um, things that your soul really wants to do and create here. Like, don't forget about the mission. Don't forget about the mission. Remember the mission. Remember why you're here, why you came, what you're doing here. It's so easy to get sucked in, right? And we all do it. And I'm not here judging anyone at any time, at any moment, will I ever do that here, okay? But I'm just saying, um, it's so easy to get sucked into that vortex of like laser focus on your counterpart, okay? So um, just it's just it's just about woof coming back, right? Okay, there we go. I was doing that. I'm aware of it. I'm not going to be hard on myself for that, and I'm just going to bring it back. Here we go, <laughs> refocusing, right? And it's okay. It's okay. There's a lesson in there. There's a lesson. Just ask yourself, what's the lesson here? If, if you're not sure, just ask. Help me see. Help me understand. Help me have clarity around here so that we can really move forward here. Because here we go again, right? Like, why are we here again? <laughs> why is it Groundhog Day? Come on, right? You deserve more or sorry, you're ready for more, but yeah, you do deserve more and you're ready for more. This is the thing. I feel for those of you who are tuning in here, your soul wants more. Okay. And you're not going to get what you want from your counterpart right now. Okay. You're that's, that's just not what I'm feeling. So for, for, for those of you who have tuned in, your soul has been guiding you to change your focus elsewhere so that you can feel a sense of satisfaction and peace and growth, okay? Because right here, right now, it's like, it is a bit blocked, I would say, blocked, right? It says your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. So many of you have really been wanting to do something new with your career, or you've been wanting to expand, or go in a different direction. And now's the time to do that. Look into more ways of how you can expand your business or how you can advertise yourself, get yourself out there more, or um, tweak your products or something like that. Or I don't know, just it's time to like focus on your money, honey. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Focus on the money, honey. Of course, that's not where the motivation is, but it's just like you're, it's, it's, I feel that stability is important to you. Okay. And 
in order to achieve that state of stability, expansion is required, okay? And the way that you're going to expand is by branching out, making phone calls, sitting and, and thinking about it, okay? Like actually take the time, maybe write down a list of a few things that you know that you could do to, to expand the pentacles, right? Or expand your business or develop yourself or whatever it is. Just write a few things down and just choose one and just do that. Don't overwhelm yourself uh, with the big picture. Just choose one that you're excited to do and go with that, okay? Now is the time to make the changes you've been contemplating. Yeah, so many of you, you do. You want that, the, you want change. You want movement. You want more, okay? And I just feel... that you've got to look within you and other like other your passions your interests your hobby to fuel that for you right now okay because i feel like many of you may be seeking out your counterparts energy or you might be seeking them out physically in the hopes that they're going to provide you with something but it's been falling flat or something like that it's been falling short it's been falling flat and it's, it's actually been leaving you feeling more confused and more drained and more exhausted rather than uplifted right now, okay? So he's showing, he's showing me that you guys are on two different vibrations right now, okay? And I feel for those of you who have tuned in, you're actually about to go through another ascension is what I'm hearing. So hold on to your hats. Up, 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 up and away! <laughs> I can see someone holding on to a kite and the wind just picks up and takes you off, okay? Um, there could be something about kites that are, you know, that is significant to you. Maybe you love kites. Maybe you've been seeing them everywhere. Um, I don't know, something like that. But keep your eyes peeled for kites. That'll be a sign that you're going up, on, up and up and up and up, okay? You may be experiencing some physical symptoms from this ascension that are not like your last ascension is what I'm hearing, okay? Like maybe earache or sore throat. Of course, you guys always go seek out professional medical advice if you're feeling unwell, but from a spiritual standpoint, this is what I'm hearing, okay? They're just gonna be a little bit different than before. You might just feel a little chilled or something like that. Um, oh, that that's interesting. He's telling me itchy skin. <laughs> Okay, um, you might just feel like you're itchy. You're like, eh, okay, um, and really tired. Like you need to nap. Okay, and if you feel like you need to nap, nap, because your body is needing it, so that you can, so that all the pieces can fall into place. He's showing me these vibrations, like these waves that are going to be coming into your body like this, almost like jellyfish. And then they're going to have to find like a way to settle within your body. Okay. And as they settle, you're just going to feel a little bit out of sorts, maybe even confused <laughs> or like unable to focus. And if that's the case, just chill. Okay. Just chill. Watch a movie, take a nap, read a book or whatever it is. Okay. And don't push yourself if, if you're experiencing that. Okay, um, can we just get like one card on this cycle that's been repeating so that the viewers may have some clarity around that? For some of you, he's saying that it's almost like you're putting all your eggs in one basket, all your eggs in your masculine's basket or your feminine's basket, whoever this is for you, your counterpart's basket. Um, and he's saying, just take those eggs out <laughs> and put them in your basket. Count on you, bank on you, okay? You hold your eggs. Don't give your eggs to anyone else. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through. It just is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just get a little bit of energy around this cycle that keeps repeating for the collective. 
the two of cups it's it's you and your counterpart it, it's like the hope for maybe union or a relationship or partnership coming together but it falls flat is what I'm hearing it keeps falling flat or it, it keeps disappointing you in some way or yeah the five of swords okay so there's still that lower vibrational stuff that's being shed from both of you is how I feel so that's why he was encouraging me to talk about what I had been through recently um, about doing a little bit of healing and purging work on myself and, and to remember to not neglect your own healing you guys and you can give yourself self healing okay if you don't know that you can all you have to do is ask ask and you shall receive um, sometimes I'll just sit down close my eyes and, and just say spirit please help me with this healing today um, I accept it with grace and gratitude. Thank you so much. Yada, yada, yada. And then I start at my crown and I just go all the way down and I just do healing. And I imagine like white light or source energy, okay, coming out of my hand, just blasting through all the bullshit in my body. And I'm like, yeah, get it. Get it, source. Get it. Get it out of me. Get the bad out, right? And I just wash it away down into Mother Nature, Mother Nature, Mother Gaia. And I say, thank you. And then I feel better. And then I might have a good cry, write in my journal, punch a pillow, throw around a few F-bombs, go bake some cookies, eat, eat all of them, and then go for a run. Woohoo! <laughs> We're healing! <laughs> We're healing! <sighs> The two of pentacles and the queen of cups came out. So I just feel it's, it's this continual loop de loop back and forth in and out, back and forth, up and down energy that you guys keep, keep running into. <clears throat> and with the Queen of Cups, I'm just getting this energy of you are the key to your destiny. You are the key to your joy, to your happiness, to your prosperity, to your abundance. And as as much as you may love your counterpart, remember, like, you come first, okay? You come first. Your needs come first. And again, I, I'm getting this reference of like, put your eggs in your basket, bank on you, bank on you coming through for you. <laughs> okay. Anything else that wishes to come through? Have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Okay. Anything else? Be honest with yourself. All of your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and then let Source take it from there. I really feel like <clears throat> Source is trying to get through to all of us to like welcome Source in more. Like consciously do it. Because I'm telling you, I thought I, thought I was. I thought I was open. And then I was like, oh God, no. Apparently I was still closed down there. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to pull from the Divine Master's Oracle by Kyle Gray. yeah mother earth Gaia thank you yeah cool resilient spirit earth connection stay rooted in trust and faith that's beautiful so remembering to tap into Gaia's beautiful nurturing grounding energy in times where we're feeling maybe frazzled or sad or like we need to transmute um, dense heavy energy or we're not feeling safe or we're not feeling grounded 
She is such a huge source of abundance for us, you guys, and we can tap in anytime. I like to put tree roots out of the bottom of my feet in down into the earth. And then when I inhale, I'll like breathe in all of this beautiful um, light, whatever light I feel I need. So sometimes I'll breathe in green. Sometimes I'll breathe in red. Sometimes I'll breathe in gold, whatever I feel my body needs intuitively. It's very helpful. Um, remembering to get outside, get into nature, somewhere quiet, and just take a few deep breaths. Give yourself the gift of Gaia. <laughs> Give yourself the gift of Gaia. And have trust and faith. Like everything's going to work out. Okay. Remember that you're you're magical and you're powerful and remember why you're here. Remember why you came. I keep hearing that. Remember why you're here. Focus on the mission. Yeah, I just put the deck on spiritual calling. Remember why you're here. Remember why you came. What's your calling and are you doing it? And if you are, how can you grow? Maybe maybe it's time for something new or to um, register for a program or educate yourself or build on your knowledge or something like this. Okay, that's where you're going to see the growth. That's when you're going to see the, the shifts and all of this. So remember why you came. Remember the mission. Michael and Faith, spiritual calling, divine protection, breakthrough moment. Okay. So I feel that there will be there will be a breakthrough here for you, okay? There, There is, and I feel it's for you. It's for you and you alone. It's your breakthrough. It has to do with you and your spiritual calling and your healing and your development and your career or whatever it is, your light work, your mission. That is what's coming for you. That is what you need to be focused on right now, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Of course, you have free will and you can focus on whatever you wish, okay? This is merely guidance. Take it or leave it, okay? We have Isis. So I was saying you're magical, right? You're magical. And there you are. Isis, very powerful magician. Reclaiming magic. Call back your power and what is rightfully yours. Yeah, I feel that sometimes along this journey, you guys, we forget that we just, we can sometimes give our power away even to our counterpart and we don't even realize it's happening until we've done it and it's just a gentle reminder to to just sort of take a step back and reclaim your power even from your counterpart okay and the way you're going to do that is by changing the focus and pouring inwards okay pouring inwards into you so that you can be of service to others and developing your gifts. Okay, many of you are being called to develop your psychic gifts, your spiritual gifts. And um, yeah, they really want you to tap into your truth, tap into your truth, your soul's truth, okay? All right, you guys. I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope you found this reading helpful. Um, I'm wishing you all the best on your journey, you guys. And I'm sending you all the good vibes. And all the good things. All the wondrous, magical things in the world. <laughs> in the universe. <laughs> sending it your way. And um, if you're having a crazy storm like we are right now, make I hope you're like inside, hunkering down with a cozy cup of tea. Um, feeling warm, cozy, safe, and snuggly wuggly <laughs> and cozy wozy. And um, yeah, I'll see you around. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. Bye.